Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True. Please visit our website, Excel-BoardTemplates.com, so that you're sure to get the latest learning techniques for Excel Dashboard templates, tools, tips, and tricks, and the latest products. All right, uh, today is part two of two. Uh, I have this Wall Street Journal um, infographic that I had seen and wanted to see if I could recreate in Excel. Part one, please go to my blog and check out the previous post. You can see how we did this curly bracket grouping a stacked bar chart with an actual label. Um, and uh, this is just in a regular Excel chart. Um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to finish off the chart specifically uh, by adding these spines or these lead uh, label lines, leader lines, label lines, leader lines, spines, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they match the color of the series and they point to a uh, quasi legend over here. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and make that. Let's go to our data area. All right, so what you have here is how we set up the data. All right, so here's how we set up the data. Um, we are going to copy, uh, and you can download this file from my website as well. But this header series here, um, or header row, uh, that would normally be the categories in your chart, we've only got one here. The rest are blank. And this is blank because what it is going to do, it's ultimately going to show um, this footnote to the infographic chart. Um, and it's going it, to, the reason it's down here is because it's a category for this stacked bar chart, which you can read about in the previous post. Um, we have a blank series column here in B, and that allows us some space uh, in order to have this Japanese marker label um, that you see here uh, for the curly bracket left brace um, grouping. And so that this blank series allows us enough space that's not jammed up against the side of the chart. So, okay. Uh, this series right here actually is how you're going to do the uh, curly bracket. This series right here that's um, in a new column, so it's going to be a new series and won't be lumped into the first series, uh, it is the actual stacked bar chart, as you can see right here, the different colors and the percentages. If we scroll down a little farther, I have um, blank uh, series names um, for this series. And what this series is going to do, let's go back to our chart. This is actually going to create our spines. Um, this is a stacked bar chart over here where I've done some fill of blank um, for the intermediate series um, where they are percentages. And then the zeros actually are going to become our spines so um, or leader lines. Then um, uh, I'll show you how to do that formula here in a second. The last series, this is going to be, if you look over here on the right, this is how we are going to set up. Uh, it's a copy, basically, of this first column. And we've got the series name here um, for those exact ones. So it's just a copy of the previous one as a new series so that we can use those labels for the series names to give us a quasi-legend or label leader lines. So let's go ahead and show you how to make all of this. All right, so once you have your data set up, you want to highlight. Oh, before we do that, let's go back into this blank series and what we're doing here. Um, if we look at the formula, you can see it is the sum of D3 and D4 divided by 2. Then the next one we have is just a uh, 0 .001. It's not quite 0. It's actually a 0 .001. Let me expand that out a little bit so you can see that. Um, and we'll do that to the whole column. Uh, oops, couldn't do that to the whole column. So um, you can see all of these are 0 .001. Um, if I expand that one. So that's actually how we're going to get the spine. If we did 0, there would be no series values there to show a little bit of a line. So just to give it the hint of a line, 0.001%. Uh, shouldn't change our data all that much. And uh, we'll show those leader lines. Um, the next formula is the sum of the top two series, this is Toyota and Datsun, divided by two. What that is going to do is that is going to give us, um, so let's go back to the first one, the 18.5%, which is half of the Toyota number of 37%, is going to give us this lower box. We then have 0.1 for our leader line, or 0.001%. Then we need to get back to the middle of the next series, and what we're going to do is add up uh, D4 and D5 and divide it by 2. 
This gets us our series uh, in between the next spine or leader line. Uh, then we have 0 0.001 for uh, the next leader line. And then likewise, we're going to add up the next two data points. So we're going to add up 18 and 12, which gives us 30, and divide that by 2, which ultimately gives us 15%. And that will make this middle portion here of the next stacked bar chart. So we continue all the way down um, with each one of those formulas in order to create our stacked bar chart series here that will ultimately create our leader lines. All right, so let's show you how to make the entire chart. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight from A2 down to F31. Then I'm going to go up and do an insert. I'm going to go to the column section. Uh, and I'm going to do a stacked column chart. Let me uh, move this down a little bit so we can kind of see how this looks. Get it over here. All right, so um, uh, what we have here is it's showing our series just uh, as not a stacked column because it thinks it's in a different format. So we want to go up to our design ribbon, and then in the data section is a switch row or column. That actually brings all of our columns together. Uh, I'm going to clean up some of this chart junk right now, and I'm just going to get click on the vertical axis and delete it, my horizontal grid lines and delete them, my legend and delete it. And uh, what I want to do that you saw in the previous video I'm going to do very quickly is I'm going to do no gap uh, to get those together. I'm going to go up and copy my bracket and replace that with a custom marker, which you can learn more about on my website. Uh, and then um, you can see we're getting pretty close to our actual uh, uh, move this up so that you can see it next to the other one. And we'll expand it down to give it about the same size. All right. So as you can see, we're getting pretty close to what we want. Um, we can insert a title by going up to the layout, uh, chart title, above chart. And then if I hit my equal sign, which you can learn about on uh, my blog, um, and we're going to go up and find um, cell B1 and hit enter. Oops, it's not B1, it's actually uh, C1. Enter. You'll see me now have um, most of our title there. I'm going to highlight this, go up to my home menu, and shrink that text down to about 12-point uh, font and not bold. And we're going to make this all left hand. So we get very close to the chart that you've already seen um, on the right hand side. Uh, now I'm just going to uh, go anywhere in and click in this chart and add labels. So I'm going to click anywhere. Don't want to click on one of these series because what it'll do is it'll just add one label. I want to add labels to everything here. So I'm going to click on that and go up to the layout, go into data labels, uh, and then just do center and I get the default labels for everything in there. So as we showed you in the previous one, I want to move this 89.2% over for the brace. Uh, I am going to um, then go up to data labels, more data label options, and I want to change it from the series name to the values. There's the Japanese automakers. We could even go home and make it bold, if you will. Uh, I'm going to move this a little bit more to the right here. Um, and what we want to do is over on the far right hand column, we don't want the percentages here, we actually want the series name. So I'm going to click on that and click on series name value. You don't have to hit close on these, you can just continue down the line by clicking on the next one, series name value, click on the next one, series name value, click on the next one, series name value. Let's just keep doing this. You can see it doesn't take too long, and then once you have it set up, it's there for good. All right, so uh, we're getting pretty close to our actual final chart that we want to do. However, I don't want any of these percentages in this middle uh, series stacked column chart, so I'm going to click on them and hit my delete key. Click on them, hit delete key. Make sure you're clicking on the actual label itself, because if you click on any one of these series and actually hit delete, um, what will happen is you will delete that series and your lines will be off. Okay, so let's take a look again um, at these formulas and what we've got here. Uh, so in this blank series, 
where you can see we have, we're taking 37% and we're dividing it by two, and that gives us this 18.5% bar there, or column there. Uh, then we have 1%, uh, 0.001%, which represents the spine. That's what we're adding in there. Then we're going to add up the next two. 37 and 18 is uh, 40, 55 divided by 2 is 27 and a half. That creates this column. We then have another 0.001, as you can see over here. The next column is going to be 12 plus 18, which is 30 divided by 2 which will put us in the middle of the uh, uh, column for the next one, and so on. We're going to keep doing that formula, 0 0.001. We're going to add up these two, 12 and 9.4, divide by 2 to get us halfway up uh, the next uh, column part. Um, another 0 0.001, add these two together, divide by 2, and continue on. Um, so that's how we're going to create these spines, and let's show you how we display them. Uh, and Move this back over so that you can see it next to the other chart. Um, and what we want to do now is go ahead and uh, get that moved off. There we go. So select the chart, then go find the series and uh, find the first series here being the larger one. I'm going to right click on it, do format data series. Um, I then want to do a fill and do no fill then we want to repeat that. Once again, we do not need to close this dialog box out. Don't hit your close because you'll just have to keep going and right clicking. Just select your next series, fill, no fill. And select your next series, fill, no fill. Uh, I am not selecting the .001 values uh, so that we can uh, create our spines. So let me go fill, no fill, fill, no fill. Fill, no fill, and finally fill, no fill. All right, so uh, we're getting really close. We have our spines. Um, let's do the same thing and no fill this next stacked column chart by right clicking on any one of those format data series. I could have left my dialog box open and it would have uh, done the same thing for me, uh, but let's just uh, get rid of all of these as well so they look like sort of a floating legend that matches our leader lines. Um, uh, for and uh, match those labels. So, okay, we're getting pretty close. Fill, no fill, close. All right, looks very, very similar to the other chart we have. We do have this uh, uh, bottom uh, axes uh, line that I wanted to get rid of. Now, if I come in here and hit delete, uh, it will get rid of my my notes. So I don't want that uh, that to be gone. But what I do want to do is right click on the axis, format axis is a choice and what I want to do is I want to choose uh, the line color and I want to do no line. Let's close that down and as you can see uh, the line's gone and it looks like a footnote. Uh, let's shrink that footnote up a little bit to get us a little bit more space. We could also probably expand this up a little bit to get it to look very similar to what the other chart looks like. Okay, final step. Um, we're really close. What I like is I like to make each one of these a different color um, because these two look very close, the other and the Toyota. Also, I want my leader lines or, uh, to, um, to match the same color as they go out to the different values. So I'm going to right click on any one of these series, do format data series. I'm going to click on fill. And this time I'm going to choose solid fill right here solid fill and let's choose like that orangey color. Now at the same time I should just go over and choose that spine or that leader line, do fill, solid fill, and it will pick up the color that I had already chosen. So no need to go back and, and fix the colors. Uh, let's do the next one, fill, solid fill, and let's grab the next blue. Uh, and once again I'm going to click on that leader line. If you're having trouble selecting the leader line, you could use your down arrow or up arrow, or there's a blog post where I'll show you another way to do it on, on my website as well uh, on finding um, unselectable series of data. Okay, so we're getting close. Let's change this one, this series to fill, solid fill, and we'll do this purpley color. Uh, we'll change this one here to the same purpley color. I don't have to pick it because it's the last purple choice. Uh, this one I'm going to do in sort of a green color. Go ahead and grab that green and let's click on the spine. 
and do a solid fill. The green is already there. Let's do a red for this one. And I'm just sort of going down the color choices in Excel so that I know I'm grabbing the current color that I want. Uh, let's do the fill, solid fill, and change this one to uh, the next blue, which is right there. And fill, solid fill gets it the same color. And then let's do the final series uh, and make that a darker blue so that it's easily discernible. Click on the leader line, solid fill, boom, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, we were able to quickly recreate the exact same chart that you might find in an infographic in the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times. Uh, and so what we have here is we have a, a bracket or a brace, curly bracket uh, grouping. You can do these for uh, just partial series. Um, you can do it for it all. We've got a custom title here that matches a cell on the sheet. We've got this customized legend for the stacked column chart and each one of these individual colors match the stacked column chart. So hopefully you found this uh, enlightening and uh, once again please visit my blog excel-boardtemplates.com where you can download this sample chart and you can see how it works yourself, try it out yourself with the data already in place. Uh, also sign up for my blog and YouTube channel so that you're sure to get the latest Excel charting and dashboard techniques. Thank you.